Okay, time for another run of the Mario challenge, and we're getting close to the end. We've got... I don't know. The... This character is totally unfamiliar to me. He seemed to be able to wall climb. That's cool. Um, what costumes do I have? Oh, it's Alphador! Yay! And I can do a double jump. Uh, can't do a spin jump. That button does nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna play as Alphador because I have no idea who that other person is. And, of course, Alphador has no obvious properties, so I'm not sure what to expect exactly. Okay, Forest Evolution 2 from Return to Dinosaur Land. Oh. Ugh. That was close. I don't see any visual change, but I'm assuming I have an extra hit, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, because I don't see a HUD at the top. Climbing up there doesn't seem to do anything. Wall climbing seems great. I don't seem like I have, like, a ton of horizontal movement, but the double jump should hopefully make most things possible that would be possible with, say, Mario or someone. I still feel like I'm going to be a little bit more limited, but not as much as, say, Bowser or Wario were. Okay, so I can just hold up and climb on top, which is much better than Ryu from Super Mario Bros. Crossover, who was always really annoying with the wall clinging. Falling down pit, falling down things in particular was really difficult with him, but because he'd just cling to the wall constantly, but still not sure if that does a thing at all. Also, my hitbox seems super small with this character. <laughs> That's such a weird looking uh, go into the pipe sprite. Oh. Well, I, I'm not even sure how I did half of that, but it worked, so hooray! <laughs> well, that. Alphadur is so goofy, it's hilarious. That did nothing. I'm still not 100% sure what, what his gimmick is, but. Yeah, he also seems to be much skinnier than a single target tile wide, so he seems to have like probably the smallest hitbox out of anyone, unless the last character is a single pixel. <laughs> I'll be back. What the? I guess... I'm not sure if that level will be back, because it just kind of was like, no, I'm not gonna be here. I have no idea what happened there. Okay, Princess Cliché, Deep Cave. For some reason I can go back in this pipe, just in case I was... I needed to get back to that completely barren room at some point. Wait, I can wall climb, so maybe I can get back up or do something. Spelunking? Whoops. Yeah, it seems like I'm supposed to get back up there eventually. That makes this a little bit more interesting. But I can't get around this. And that wall of Goombas is probably not going to be too kind. Okay, let's get out of here before I do something stupid and die. And try to actually play the level normally. Unfortunately, if it was just straight up, I'd be able to cheese the whole thing. Just for kicks. Just to play with Alphador's powers. Oh, and I have a boot. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, okay, ducking with the boot makes me fall through the floor, that's a thing. <laughs> Gosh, no clue where those coughs came from. I don't think I'll take the boot again, thanks. Okay. All these blocks are in the way. Oh no, so hard to get past. Goodbye. Uh, I, I jumped out of the way just in time because I was like, wait a second, what if that's a spiny or something? And yes, it was exactly a spiny. But one of these might be useful. Oh, it's the boot again. You're trying to trick me, I think. But I might need it for something, so... Let's not throw it away just yet. I'll just carry it around with me. 
Then again, maybe I could chuck it and grab a Koopa shell. So many options! Jump just in case that was a spiny, but I would have been okay. Unfortunately, I can't kill things with a boot, so... This climbing ability would be more interesting in a vertical level than in this level, I think, but... Let's not take the boot with me, because I don't want to be falling through the floor everywhere. <laughs> Just in case, that ends up happening a lot. Nimbus Land. Is this another town level? Yeah, I think it is. Oh yeah, that thing I'm looking for, like... Um, I totally don't remember the plot of that game. <laughs> Unless it's just a power star, in which case, sure. Oh, hey! You know, I'll consider power-ups what I'm looking for. Wait, what did I just do? Is this the Tanuki power, or... I don't know what this is actually doing, exactly. Let's hit that. Huh, it's a boot. Go away, boot! Free life, nice! Is this a Tanuki power-up, or could I have done that all along and I just didn't notice? Let's just leave. I th this is probably a side exit leave level, so... I don't think we can get up there anyway, because there's nothing to climb on with all the stuff from Zoolated as they were. Tyrants. Ugh, for some reason these fences feel weird. Dr. Mario's secret stash. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to do that, that cat thing anymore. I mean, what am I talking about? The thing where I leave the clone behind. Am I jumping higher? Or is it just me? This will just be another boot of death, so no thanks. Candy? Oh, it's a 1-up. Well, that's great. What's in here? It's a hamburger. I have no idea what that power that's supposed to be, or what I'd get out of it, even if it... Even if I knew what it was, so... Get in there. Can I climb up with this? No. Yeah, I can. <laughs> so, this is one of the many levels where you eat things. Oh, no. I think I have to break this block, don't I? And I don't think I can tube out. That's like the dumbest thing to get stuck by, isn't it? But, maybe if I throw this egg into it, I can break it. I don't think that'll work. Most things don't break blocks in Smugex, but... Yeah. Maybe there's something I can do with the boot? Other than weirdly scale this thing? Yeah, I think I'm stuck because I can't break a dang block. Alright, let's go somewhere else then. And get out of this boot. Wait, how do I... how do I get out of this boot? Uh, no, I don't want to be in the ground. Uh, I think I just got stuck. Stupid boot. Maybe I can hold down here? Nah. Yeah, what cheat code can I use to get out of this? I guess I can use get down. <laughs> Dying might be the best solution. I've had enough with boots for today. Uh, that's how I get that thing to appear. If only I'd taken the boot up here and started playing around with it, I probably could have glitched straight to the star. <laughs> but, never mind. Okay, this is this level. It's enormous. So, gotta be careful, especially since I s still suspect that I have one hit. I don't think I've actually gotten hit by anything yet. Let alone with confirmation that I have a mushroom when I get hit by it, but... So I still don't know if I die in one hit or not. I, I wonder if there's some stuff I can climb in this level, because there seem to be some walls like this that I can do stuff like that with. But so far I haven't found any definitive uses. Ah, uh, this is more coins. In case I needed coins. The secret exit... Whoa! I just... kind of... died. Alphador plays so weirdly. Let's hope that doesn't... Let's hope that doesn't just happen when I enter water or something, because that would be bad. However, since I can pick stuff up, I don't know if that would do anything anyway. 
Since I can't pick stuff up... Oops. Oh, there. I got hit that time, but I was small, of course, so that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, I don't really care about that thing. Oh yeah, and I need two ninjas to get up there. But the second one's right in the grass here. I'm doing it this way because I'm thinking that I... Because this route lets me skip over the water section that killed me last time, so... This might work out better. And lots of Koopas. Ah, I was hoping to get a life or something by jumping on them, but that didn't work out so well. Oh, thank goodness I'm a character that can actually throw these things, because otherwise this would be going nowhere fast. I can also double jump before throwing them. Which is nice. Oh yeah, just climb the wall up. Duh. Hello. Aw, oh, dang it. I should have waited there. I got impatient for some reason. Back where we were before. Yes, yeah, it's kind of dangerous, but eh, he fell straight in that one space gap. Works for me. Oh, a one-up. I could really use that, actually. Hopefully I don't die getting it. I don't actually need to be up here, so I don't care about falling down now. As long as I don't have to go through any more water segments. Okay. Just kind of sneaking around this place, hoping to avoid all glitchy deaths. You can die. Uh, I don't think I want to bother. Nope. Apparently jumping off the vine... Okay, it didn't use my double jump up that time. Weird. Alright, so let's throw you away. I didn't do a very good job of that. You can die. Oh, that's not a bomb. Oh, I do have to hit that switch. And you give me this mushroom that doesn't help at all. Oh no. I'm assuming... <laughs> that stupid mask prevents me from wall climbing up. I'm sure that wasn't really intended to be a feature of this level, but... But at the same time, if I do it right, I might be able to get on top still. It's just the slope of that mast is so perfectly ready to mess me up. Ah, oh, that was so close. There. Got it. Okay, back in here. Too bad I didn't just do it the first time. Don't even need to duck since my hitbox is already so small, but... Get in there. Alphador's maneuverability is pretty great. Cons especially since I never have to worry about uh, being big. But then again, I guess I don't get power-ups either, so I don't get any of the advantages of being big either. Okay, I can fit through there. Ah, you stupid thing. You had to be there. I'll just hide here. Get around this thing. Okay. Yeah, gotta be very careful. <laughs> I have the smallest character in the level that's about being monumental. And I probably could have climbed up half this stuff, but I keep forgetting I have that ability in the first place. Grab the ninji. Yeah, I could have just climbed up here. What was I doing? You die. I wouldn't be surprised if I could just climb up whatever I was supposed to need this spring for as well. Oh, here's a power up I prob Oh, crud, I forgot the water. Dang it. Maybe that's not a glitch. Maybe this character just dies in water 
in in their game, and that's why they're dying in water in this game as well. That would make sense too. I actually have more lives than when I entered last time, at least. Let's take better stock of my surroundings this time. Where I need to actually go. Okay, I have to hit the blue switch before coming here, which is what prevents me from just using the top right and doing that. Yeah, and I do need the spring to get back out because I'm not gonna be able to jump up that. Learning. You can die. I know not to jump in the water this time. Cats don't like water either. Just like tiny short people. Okay. Really careful think about all my actions with Ugh, like not doing that. Ah, oh, rats. long enough to get to this screen and I'm probably just gonna do something stupid and die knowing me. So gotta be very careful with my ammo right now. There's a midpoint around here somewhere. I think the arrow points to it or something. Yeah there it is. Thank goodness because I kinda need that. At least I'm making progress now. I didn't make up any lives though, because every time I died I only gained like one life-ish. So... Disco. Gotta be careful about Disco. They say Disco is dead, but Disco is never dead in the my backs. Step on these guys. Whoops. Not sure what happened there. Hey, I can just kinda climb this. Nice. This is pretty much just ammo now. Yeah, that was close. Gotta be careful. I almost should have stayed over to the other side. Just so that I'd be near that mountain that I can climb. It's easier to climb straight up than to jump across placed ledges, people. That's how real mountains work. Ah, gosh. I almost got caught there. And I was really only saved by my wall clinging abilities there. This is a really intense level when you only have one hit. Who even needs one hit mode when you've got Alphador? 
Let's carry this thing up with me. As long as I stand just a little bit over, I think I can probably get that guy. Yeah, take that. Doesn't help me that much, but... Let's just climb up over here, since I'm not in the way of everything. Yeah, better kill him. The shell's coming in handy. Especially because I've got homing Koopas coming up, so... And a power-up that doesn't help me at all. And yeah, here's the homing Koopas, so i got to be super careful around them. Maybe I can just despawn that guy by going far enough over here quick enough. You're dead. No need to worry about that one. You're dead. Oh. He's decided to come back for another round. But that was okay. He never got close. Elphidor eats. Hi. Homing Koopas for dinner. I think. That, that was canon to Chrono Trigger, right? I remember the homing Koopas coming along, and then... Phew. <laughs> well, that was certainly interesting. I definitely enjoy playing as Alphador. He's a fun player. He's a fun character to play as, I think. The wall clinging is cool, and uh, he's super maneuverable. And he's got enough horizontal and vertical uh, jump height to be able to manage everything that the Mario Brothers would normally be able to do, so. One hit always makes things a little bit harder, but it was still pretty okay, I think. <coughs> At least I didn't have to fight the turnip boss this time.